I, I am actually supposed to add to this uh, testimony, which is just a, a synopsis. I don't think people can grasp how fucking terrifying this is in here. And I can not whatsoever talk about anything I've witnessed with cops, military, military vets. Okay, it is very upsetting to me. I can't talk about anything I'm witnessing under the floors in detail. I can't talk about anything and I can't, I start to become near hysterical. You can't tell a victim of terrorism not to talk about it, man, for fucking years on end. Nobody can do that. My guidance, my guidance is that because these terrorists are doing that to me. The Saudi Arabian ISIS terrorists are putting my life in so much danger for these videos for saying anything. Okay, that is why. And it's pushing me to my emotional fucking end. You're fucking right. I am supposed to say, and I didn't know if I could be, because of fear of my life. The white Israeli crime figure, ISIS terrorist, the female, is upstairs in that room right now. I go in there, she turns the TV on and then sits at her station and talks through that microphone so I hear her 10 times louder. And she starts talking to city officials. She's on the phone complaining about, I presume, my presence as a witness to their terrorism. State-sponsored terrorism. They, they're planning. That's why I put it in my header on YouTube. It's so obvious with what I'm witnessing, what I know the military knows. They're planning to blow up fucking different targets and sit in the same fucking house where they made the fucking bombs on a civilian fucking street after they do it. They're insane. Do you read me? She's up there right fucking now, hollering her head off, trying to get me to talk, hear, see, and film her. All right? She thinks she has my entire family, this crazy person. This crazy person doesn't comprehend I've had these problems with these relatives from the day I was born. It's not because the S Street terrorists are so powerful that they captured my family in this great white power movement. You're very mistaken, ISIS terrorist. I, I don't know my fucking family. I didn't even know my fucking dad. My mom gave me to my grandma. My grandma raised me. I drank powdered milk. And then when my mom came back around, it was fucking... Abuse, physical, and neglect from there on out. It's been a nightmare. And to this day, what is still happening? I'm a grown fucking woman and it's still happening. I can't get a cease and desist and pay an attorney enough money. Nothing works. The police have to do something about my relatives and these ISIS terrorists. 